today I want to talk about ventriloquist masks. You know, for, for anyone quarantining that just really wanted a buddy. <laughs> I wanted to show you, I wanted to share the very sketchy and, no, not sketchy, cheap and easy way to pull this off. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so the first step you really want to do is figure out how you're going to make your head shape. I am most comfortable with paper mache, so I got this head out. I just coated it with, I think eight is really that magic number, eight layers of paper um, just on the front of this face. After I made my base to stick onto, um, building the rest out of cardboard. Um, this was for me a lot of trial and error and eyeballing and really it was just a lot of experimentation It's nice because it's not that hard to take something off if you don't like it so you can just try it and put it on and If it looks bad do it again The next step after cutting out this mouth was mounting it. I was following this antique diagram uh, They used like actual hinges for their mouth I don't just have those, so I did my favorite cheat, which is I just take cardboard that is already a corner of the cardboard that already has that mobility, but is like a strong piece, and I just attached that to this piece of cardboard. Eventually, that piece is going to need to be mounted inside the head in a way that it is going to stay where it's at, um, but before you can do that, just with the space issue, you need to take care of the workings that are behind it. Um, I accomplished that through using a hook that you might use for hanging a painting. That hook um, I just shoved into the top um, and the hook on that lends itself quite nicely to a spring. Um, you need to have a spring for this because that is what makes it so that when you pull it down it's going to pull itself back up. That's what springs do. <laughs> and you connect that, str that spring, you just put the last loop over the hook of whatever hooked setter that you're using that's at the top of the head. So you have the hook on top of the head connected to a spring, and then you need to connect that to something that doesn't have any give and is not gonna get stretched out over time. I had access to this terrific um, metal wiring, and I wrapped that um, right around the bottom of the spring. For my next step, I secured the back. Once that was set, took a screw and went right through the bottom of the tongue. But for good measure, I did put a lot of hot glue around it. I took that wiring and was able to just wrap it right around the top of that screw. And then I had my mouth in place. Uh, I'd from here, you just need the ability to pull it down. You're almost done. So I actually took um, this is a wrapping paper tube, cut it in half, and then put one on top of the other one um, to have like a double layer, double strong, hollow pole. <laughs> uh, and I took that pole um, and attached it as far down on my puppet as I could. From here, I had this somewhere between like clothesline and string. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of give and it's strong. I made a hole, connected it to this button here, ring that all the way up the pole. From there, I just made a hole right through the bottom of my mouth, rung the string through it. The tongue is just a button that I have my string running through the hole and then through the button and then knotted so it can't come down. So that is how you make a ventriloquist mouth. It is not that hard and it feels very impressive.